Welcome to the FM24 save where the end goal is to try and lead a club out at a European final. Welcome to the quest. So what on earth even is this save that we are quite pompously referring to as the quest? Well, it's going to be a journeyman career, but normally when I do a journeyman career, I judge success by the number of domestic cups or maybe even the league titles that I managed to win and Europe seems to be something of a forgotten competition for me in journeyman careers. If anything, I see it as a cash cow, something to try and increase the revenue streams of the clubs that I'm managing so I can win more domestic trophies. Well, not in this journeyman career. We are going to make Europe front and centre of our goals for this save. Our quest is not just to win league titles, but to then take our clubs into Europe and one day make a European final. Now, that might be the Champions League. It might only be the Europa League beggars. Cannot be choosers, probably. It might just be the Europa Conference League. But we are going to set off on a journeyman quest where we are going to stop at nothing until we are in the tunnel leading a team out at a major European final. So here we are setting up our game, except this seems a little bit too simplistic to me. We've got every league in Europe loaded. That can't be right, can it? I want to put a little bit of a twist on this journeyman career. We don't want to make a European final with just any old club. Where would be the glory in taking Manchester United, Real Madrid, Bayern Munich to a Champions League final? That's all been done before, hasn't it? Instead, I had the idea to try and do a journeyman career through the nations that have never produced a European finalist before. So I started doing some research into which nations have produced clubs that have appeared in a Champions League or a European Cup final. And that gave me some nations that I could remove from my database. I then researched the nations that have produced finalists of the UEFA Cup or what is now the Europa League. And that whittled the nations down even more. The Conference League is a relatively new competition, so there were no extra nations to remove from there. But I also decided to remove nations that have produced a finalist from the former Cup Winners' Cup. And once I'd finished removing those nations that have produced a European Cup Winners' Cup finalist, that left me with my list of nations where we can manage clubs and we're going to try and find one of them to take to a major European final. Now, although our end goal is to reach a major European final, we're not going to make things easy for ourselves. We want to start at the very bottom of the game. So we're going to be a manager that has absolutely no coaching badges whatsoever. And the first few clubs that we manage are going to hopefully supply us with that foundation in coaching badges in the game and we're also going to be a Sunday league footballer which means in terms of managerial attributes we have very little to play with we're going to pump all six of our additional attribute points into adaptability and hopefully that's going to allow us to trot around Europe in search of that club that we can guide to that major European final. Now, rather than simply select a club that we are going to manage at the outset of our journeyman career, we're going to leave it to fate instead. There are a few sides who are without a manager at the beginning of the game. So our first job is going to be to go on holiday, apply for all of the positions that are at bottom division clubs. And we're going to come back when any of them take pity on us and potentially give us an interview. And these clubs aren't stupid, are they? They know a good thing when they see it. Not one, but two sides have both approached us already and invited us along for an interview. We've got Solene, whose president is Miroslav Delic. Solene, 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 Solene. Please don't give me a job just because you can. I think they are a Croatian outfit. Indeed, they are. They are currently in the second tier in Croatia, a 12-team division. I reckon they've got to have a reasonable reputation, haven't they? They seem like they could be a decent club. Two-star reputation. Our chances of getting that job are slim, even though they've invited us for an interview. Perhaps the more likely one is that we've had an offer of an interview from Planet Clue. I'm going to say a Welsh club, Nigel Crisp has invited us along. Uh, they can't be too much of a reputation side, I wouldn't have thought. Um, their facilities are very, very basic. They've got a, a reasonably sized little stadium, though, but their reputation is just half a star. Let's jump into the Solene interview, first of all, and see what kind of questions they ask us. Maybe it's been completely revolutionised for FM24. I somehow doubt it. Let's give it a go. The board are pleased 
that you've taken the time to attend today. Well, I'm out of work and you are the first people that came to me offering an interview. So let's get down to it. Are you worried about not being able to speak the language? Honestly, a little bit. Yes, but let's go. I hope that you can see past it. You're up for a few jobs right now. Are you hedging your bets? Absolutely, I am. Uh, let's go with I'm merely considering my options. We parted company with our last manager much sooner than anybody would have anticipated. Hmm. You may want to get used to that if you're going to hire me. Let's say I'm going to be around for a long time. Not sure whether that's completely honest, but we'll go with it. Do you have any thoughts on the club's long term vision? None whatsoever. That seems perfectly acceptable. They would like, goodness me, a top half finish. I certainly don't think I could do any better than a top half finish. Let's go. That's a fair target to aim for. Ooh, goodness me. They've even got a little bit of a transfer budget. I'm going to say uh, I don't want a much bigger budget. They'll never give me the job. I'm already batting way above my average with a two star club. So let's go with that being perfectly realistic. They've got a wage budget. That's a decent one as well. Almost 3,000. I'd be happy to work with that. Now, here's the deal breaker. If hired, I think we've got to take a job that's going to give us that first coaching badge. I don't think we're going to make a lot of progress quickly in our pursuit of taking on clubs that might be able to qualify for European competition unless we get those early coaching badges quickly. So let's say that that is a bit of a deal breaker. We don't believe you need more coaching qualifications to achieve our club vision. Now, let's be completely honest here, Solene. Uh, you are a two-star reputation club that wants a top half finish. I'm a half-star, untested, untried, underqualified manager. And you don't think I need to go on at least the first rung of the coaching ladder? Uh, no, uh, I'm afraid we're going to have to do it. If achieving the next coaching badge is that important, it is that important to me. Fabulous. Showed a little bit of backbone there, and they blinked first. So that is our first interview done. Let's jump in and do the interview at Wales, and we'll come back if we get any more job interviews or if one of these two clubs makes us an offer. We're back with an update. There's no job offer from Soline yet, but we will not be going to Clanny Cloys. We insisted on them allowing us to do a coaching badge. And they said that would completely rule us out of being their coach. They don't want anybody with any ambition in the game whatsoever. So that won't be the job for us. But we've now got interviews with Finn Harps and Trefellin, who I'm guessing are another Welsh outfit. Probably another half-star reputation club. Indeed, they are. Finn Harps, though, might be a little bit more salubrious than that. They are a two-star reputation side. again. That could be a difficult one for us to get. Let's jump into the interview. The board are pleased. Oh, of course they are. It's great to be here. Much shorter journey for me than jetting out to Croatia this time. I'm exploring my options. Could you come in and get a disappointing season back on track? Of course, because they are a League of Ireland side. They will already be in the midst of their season. So let's promise them something that's perhaps not true. I'm all about the motivation. So we'll come in and get the job done. Uh, I won't be needing a budget to bring in my own backroom staff because I know nobody in the professional game that I might be able to bring in as things stand. We will go with your vision for the future. You would like to finish in mid-table. Now, foolishly, before I jumped on the plane, I didn't actually look where they were. They could be bottom of the table for all I know. Let's say, uh, well, let's not promise them that I can win the league title. That would seem a little bit foolish. but. Shall we put ourselves up against it from the off and say that we can compete for the playoffs without actually knowing? Well, they're ninth. I don't know how many teams are in this. It could only be 10. Uh, looks like their form is they've lost one and drawn four of the last five. It's got to be something there to work with. So let's say that we're playoff bound. Let's say that we could work with a slightly not a much smaller no 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 let's go with a slightly smaller wage budget just to try and butter them up and get our first job but here's the deal breaker again we are going to need to be able to do that coaching badge you don't agree i'm afraid it's a deal breaker they've gone with it they've backed down 
We've got no further requests. We'll go over to Wales and do the Trafelin interview as well. And then, potentially, we've got three irons in the fire. I'll be brutally honest, I've not experienced this much rejection since high school. We've been bombed out of jobs in Ireland, in Wales, in Latvia as well. We're back for two more interviews. One of them is going to be in Finland. The other is going to be in the top division in Ireland. We couldn't even secure a job in the second division in that nation. So I'm not sure how fruitful that one is going to be. But just before we get in there and do those interviews, there are two things that you could do if you would like to support this channel as we begin this brand new Journeyman adventure. The first would be to click that little thumbs up button because whenever you hit like on one of my videos, it tells YouTube that it's a video people are enjoying and it shows it to more people. And in that vein, if you could be good enough to leave a comment down below on this video, then that just tells YouTube that people are getting excited about this new series and it wants to show it to other people. And the more viewers we can get on this new adventure, the longer it's likely to last for. Let me know down in the comments what your FM24 adventure is that you're embarking on. And if you've ever had any joy in the pursuit of coaching badges or whether asking for those in interviews is something that's a bit of a no-no, because I've got to be honest, most of the job interviews I've attended when I've asked for those coaching courses, that has been the end of the conversation. Finally, we might be getting somewhere. It won't be in Finland. It won't be in the Republic of Ireland. It won't be in Latvia either. We've been kicked out of all of their borderings for asking for coaching badges, but we've just had an interview with Moyola Park in Northern Ireland in the third tier, no less. And now there are press articles suggesting that we are on the verge of taking over. It's perhaps not the most suspicious of surroundings to begin our managerial career, but really at this stage, I will take anything. Dear Lord, brace yourselves, people. We have finally been offered the opportunity of employment by good old Davy Spears, who's going to chuck 35 notes a week our way. We're going to have £80 per week to assemble some kind of squad that's expected to finish in the top half of the Northern Irish Third Division. I did have a cheeky little look. They're actually not doing too bad at the moment, they are in fifth place in the league. We're pretty early on in the season. You never know. We might be able to get in there and maybe secure a promotion and boost our reputation. But they have promised us that we can do a coaching badge upon taking control of the club. So that will give us a little reputation boost as well. I think there's nothing more to do than get down to the negotiations. We will be cheeky and ask for £40 a week. They will give it to us. Goodness me. We're going to be living in the lap of luxury once we take over at Moyola Park. Now, well, we best get in, meet our squad and have a look at this new club. See what we're going to be up against. Here we go. The press have assembled. Eyebrows may have been raised. I tell you what, my eyebrows have been raised almost permanently since I loaded up this save. I think I've been turned down for about 15 different jobs, most of them because I wanted to start my coaching qualifications. Uh, we are playing at the, well, the Coleraine Showgrounds. Okay, well, I know Coleraine have a club that are in the top division, so maybe we've got a cross-town rival already. Um, founded in 1880, fierce rivals, Tobermory United. Very nice. Looks like they like to play but without a striker. It also looks like they've got a very ghostly player in the squad um maybe we can do something they've got a, a goalkeeper that decides to wear a baseball cap to photo shoots doesn't look like a bad goalkeeper though i will take him all day long we've got to try and grow the club's reputation be competitive in the old steel and sons cup one of the the big competitions for us be competitive in the intermediate cup and record a top half finish the interviews have been a little bit of a blur, if I'm honest. I can't remember whether I was over-promising or whether that's just what they wanted by default. But we are in at Moyola Park. So we're going to have to see just what we're going to be up against. We've got four days until we kick off against Limavady United. Um, in fact, they've been in pretty decent form. So I'm guessing they've not sacked their manager. They must have left for another job. or. Or well, maybe they just never had one and they were performing well under a caretaker because we seem to be the first boss that they've had in their history. So we are now installed as the boss of the park. I think we will have to get to work on some kits at some point. We're going to have a captain who looks like Samuel McElveen. 
a vice captain of Adam Gray. Let's have a look at this squad and see what we're going to be up against. It's a small squad. I'll say that to start us off. We've only got one goalkeeper by the looks of it. Let's see if there's anything in the under 18s. Oh, there is. Oshin Gibson. Um, it actually doesn't look too bad as a backup goalie. All right, there are some there are some players down there if we need to call them up. In fact, a striker's go, one that's reasonably quick and can finish, albeit not with the greatest composure or off the ball movement, it's not too bad. Let's get into the first team squad though and see what we've got. We're looking for weapons essentially, players that we might be able to develop a tactic around. So as I go through some of the supposed better players in the squad, let me know down in the comments whether you've any experience of any of these players. Have you ever played in the Northern Irish third tier? Are these players any good for the level that we are going to be at? This seems to be, according to the coaches, our star man, Mark Kelly, bit of a veteran. Determination of four, not exactly desirable, but six foot four means that he might be able to do a little bit of damage. But why is a six foot four inch supposed target forward got strength of five? Although it does brand him as a poacher. And even though he is 33 years old, he's got a little bit of pace and off the ball movement about him. So maybe Mark Kelly might be a decent goal scorer. Elliot McKim, now a ghostly centre half speaking to us from realms beyond now he is a bit more determined i like that left footed as well reasonably physical good tackling good marking good positioning in fact i think mckim might be one of our better players i think we could build a defense around him let me know what you think down in the comments are these players cut out for this level have we got a hope of securing a promotion in our first season of the quest here is our baseball capped goalkeeper. I really like this player, to be honest. Good kicking, punching quite often. Handling's good, agility's good. Honestly, this is a reasonable player, it really is. Scott Frame is a, a youngster, a 16-year-old who's very slow and very weak, but mentally is very strong. Bob Macalorum is also 16 years old and went to the same military barber as the previous player. Unambitious, determination of five, strength of three. Though he can finish and is pretty quick, so not necessarily a write-off. Adam Ambrose, 19 years old. It's a young squad, right winger, crossing of nine again. Physically pretty quick and just notice six foot four inches tall. So I'll be able to do something from set plays here. Jackie Graham, 25 years old, left back. Quite like this player. Determination and strength seems to be a problem across this squad. But elsewhere, physically looks pretty good. Can tackle, can almost put in a cross as well. Um, Kalen Brennan, again, quick but weak. Bit of a theme going on in this squad. Quick, but if there's a strong breeze, they may take off. Strength of nine for Jakey McNeil. In fact, in the centre of the park, it's not a bad option. Falls over fairly regularly and lacks composure and don't even get him started on the dribbling. But there might be something there. Samuel McElveen, that was the captain, I think, wasn't it? With determination of two. Brilliant. Great leader. Just not very determined about it. Um, strength of five as well. Not ideal. But this is only the third tier of Northern Irish football. We are starting out right at the bottom. I do like the name Peter Duffin. The Duff is quick but weak. This seems to be the Moyola Park way, I think. Adam Gray is quick. But yeah, you guessed it. Not the strongest. Maybe. That's something to do with the level that we're playing at and the strength of the players isn't quite there. We are going to be coming back for our next episode where we are going to be taking on Limavade United and Crumlin United in an away from home double header. Don't forget to leave this video a little like. Don't forget to jump down in the comments. Tell me all about your own FM24 adventures. Inspire me. If you have your own save ideas, you know I'm the person that wants to hear them. And let me know what you think of our squad. Do you think we have a chance of securing a first promotion in our quest? 
to find a club that we can take into a final of European competition from a nation that's never achieved such a feat before.